Prosecutors investigating the mess of corruption scandal that led to the nation's first ever presidential impeachment paid another visit to the Seoul Detention Center. Huang Jun has more on round two of grilling Park Geun-hye behind bars. A week after her arrest and just two days after round one, prosecutors questioned Park Geun-hye for a second time on Thursday starting at around 11 a.m. Pro-park protesters showed up early in the morning despite the spring showers demanding Park's immediate release. The police estimated the turnout to be about 130. Given the strict schedule at the detention center, the interrogation itself was carried out in a fashion similar to that of Tuesday. The session was once again led by Chief Prosecutor Han Ung Jae, who oversaw both the Tuesday session and the one at the whole Central District Prosecutor's Office two weeks ago before Park's arrest. Park's legal counsel, Yu Yong Ha, accompanied her during Thursday's interrogation, as he did the previous time. Park is currently facing 13 charges. Thursday's interrogation focused on the possible collusion between Park and her confidant, Choi Sun Sil, to extort bribes worth more than 70 million U.S. dollars from local conglomerates and, in particular, from Samsung Electronics. The bribery probe has expanded to Lotte Group. The prosecution has summoned Lotte Chairman Shin Dong Bin to the prosecutor's office to question him as a witness. But Park, just like Tuesday's session, reportedly denied the charges against her, saying she was conspired against and did not know about Choi's activities in pursuit of her own personal interest. Choi Sun Sil, who was being held at the same detention center as Park, was relocated this morning to the Seoul Nambu Detention Center, about 20 kilometers away, to prevent contact between the two. An official with the investigative team indicated Wednesday that they may file a request to extend Park's 10 day detention period before it ends on Sunday. If granted, prosecutors would be allowed to keep Park in detention for another 10 days, meaning they will have until April 19th to continue their investigation and file formal charges against her. Hwang Wo-jun, Arirang News.